All systems are go. Let's listen in to terminal count. LD, go for launch. As Falcon 9 transports the European Space Agency's HERA spacecraft into space. Pitching downrange. Stage one propulsion is nominal. At T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40. After clearing the tire, we begin to tilt or gimbal the engines. That initiates a roll maneuver you might see on the stage one camera view, although it's kind of cloudy. But this enables the vehicle's antennas Power to stay in the best nominal. position for communicating with the ground. We are into throttle down now in preparation for max dynamic aero. Falcon is supersonic. Faster than a speeding bullet, we're supersonic on Falcon 9. Waiting for the call out from GNC of Max Q. Max Q. Right on time. We're through the period of maximum pressure on the vehicle. The Merlin engines are back at power and we're out of the throttle bucket. Now from here on, even though the velocity is rapidly increasing, the atmospheric density is decreasing and that's resulting on less loads on the Falcon 9. 90 seconds into flight, the rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid gravity MVAC pulling it back chill. down to Earth and getting into orbit. We've heard the call out for MVAC chill. That's a bleed valve on the second stage engine that's performing the final chill prior to second stage engine ignition. All's looking good with the first stage trajectory. We're coming up on T plus two minutes. Views from onboard the camera mounted on the inner stage of Booster 1061. Now we've got three events that'll be coming up in just under 30 seconds. Main engine cutoff, the nine Merlin engines will be throttled down and shut down. Then we'll get stage separation and then startup of the MVAC engine on its first of two burns on the second stage. We've begun throttling down the Merlin engines. Main engine cut off. Call for Miko. Stage separation. Successful stage separation. MVAC ignition. MVAC ignition and we're up on power on stage two. Coming up will be fairing deployment. And for the first stage, as we saw it in the background, farewell 1061 and we thank you. As we continue climbing out of Earth's atmosphere, we're waiting for the right time when we can open up and deploy the fairing. That should be coming up in about 10 seconds. There's a camera view as we switch. You can see Hera inside the two halves of the fairing. Fairing separation. and successful payload fairing separation. As we mentioned earlier, the fairing halves have supported multiple missions.